I am in Plaza Botero in downtown Medellin. Tourist area, but also dangerous area. And here is where the flea market is under the bridge. I've been here before in the past, but you know, I didn't film as well as I wanted to. Let's try it again. A few weeks ago, a wild guns was found in this very flea market. So I expect wild guns or better. Let's go, let's go find out if we can find anything. Uh, I went to Peru in the deep hood to a similar flea market. I didn't find anything. Uh, so hopefully today we're a little bit more lucky. Let's go do it, man. This is Retro Finds Worldwide. So here we are. This is Prado. This is under the bridge at the Prado station here in downtown Medellin. Um, it doesn't seem as dangerous as people say it is, but I know it is. I can feel it in the air. Um, you know, I just I just stay to myself and usually everything turns out OK. Um, I do see some illicit activities being uh, taking place. And yeah, that's why I'm only going to film a little bit here. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of clothing, a lot of shoes. And I don't see anything like crazy vintage yet. Uh, a lot of old electronics, kitchenware. Here I have found uh, games in the past, but nothing that really like, you know, makes me want to come here every day or every other day, you know, kind of like the, the Bogota flea markets, you know, I want to go all the time because I'm always finding stuff. But here, not so much, but it's still fun to check it out every once in a while. So, yeah, let's see what else there is. What's that still? because uh, there's antique dealers and sometimes, you know, they have some stuff. Diaz.
¿Tú tienes nada de videojuegos hoy? No, videojuegos no, no tengo mi amor. Bueno, muchas gracias. La próxima, la próxima, muchas gracias. The brother next door had games, but she thinks he sold them because she couldn't find them. That's okay. I mean, all these places have guys that come and they're they have games held for them. It's like everywhere else. It's like everywhere else, and that's fine. Because I also have places where people hold for me, you know. It's just, that's just how it is. Most of it is closed, but some places are open. It's such a random collection of like vendors. See like up here it says computer repair, it says, over there it says arcade for some reason. No tiene nada de videojuego por ahí? No. No. Videojuegos. Aquí. Gracias. Bueno, Man in White is. Buenos días, buenas tardes. No tiene nada de retro. Retro, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Que cuestan sus Play. Las Play 1 pequeñas así. Pero está para arreglar. Ah, son para reparar. So that guy basically said, go to the downtown area where I always go. So it seems like that's the hub of like all gaming here in downtown. Um, it's what they say, you know, it's not. I know there's more, I know there's more. Um, the gatekeeping is okay. I mean, everybody does that. Everybody wants to keep their stuff a secret and that's fine. So I'm gonna go downtown to the area where all the games are. So you'll either see me go downtown in the next episode or you already saw it in the past episode. I'm not really sure of the order yet. You know what? They're not all going to be winners, man. Sometimes we're going to lose and that's okay because it's all about the journey. It's all about the thrill of the hunt. Uh, it's all about just being here, um, especially in a new country. If you're in a new country trying to hunt, you're not going to find stuff every time. And that's okay with me. Some people need to find something every time. They need to, um, they need to show that success. They need to show that they're um, finding stuff every time, finding gems. Now you know what? This right here, this is my gem for today. This is my big find. So from Plaza Botero, I say thank you so much. Uh, I wish you farewell until next time. If you want to see me go back to that flea market on a weekend day, like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna go enjoy the nice weather.